Okay, so I have to go to Brazil for a month for work, so I'm just going to do a quick update before I go, but these are just some really small watermelons and other melons that I've planted in here. And uh, back in the garden, um, and you'll see I have some raspberries, strawberries, peas, beans, there's some carrots and all kinds of things starting in there. A lot of it's planted really late. I just haven't never got around to it soon enough and it's really cold early in the season. There's some tomato plants and just another little greenhouse I have things growing in. Um, take a look at these pumpkins so over here. All these are started at the same time. They just have the two leaves and they're not looking anything special. But uh, in the greenhouse here I have same from the same bunch a uh, pumpkin that I started just in the hydroponic system and it's got four leaves and it's looking really good. And it has a pretty solid root mass too but a lot of these plants just aren't doing good you can see this one's burnt I don't know if that's from the sun but I think it's nutrient burn I think and the, I mean even the the uh, tomatoes aren't doing as well as the ones in the garden even though they are rooting pretty good it's just I think I think it's nutrient burn is what the problem is so I'm going to be swapping out my chemicals and mixing them again the other thing is is the power thing. I need more more solar power. Right now I'm running off the house power for the pump, but I picked up some cheaper solar panels, so I'll see if that does a trick. I'm probably just going to upgrade the whole system sooner or later. And, uh, yeah. But we'll see how it goes. So it's just off a normal timer. I'm going to be upgrading the timer to with the 12 volt timer. But if anybody can even tell me what it is, what they think it is, I believe it's nutrient burn. They're just dry. So I'm going to switch out the water and see what happens.